this up in the ground floor, lower ground floor, um, and the gym and pool is a lift back up to reception. Welcome to room 510 at the Novotel Hotel in Sheffield City Centre. I'm here for one night, there are two of us, and we've got a room for £79, which is room only. Which is not cheap, but then again, Sheffield isn't a cheap place to stay. And we do have a fairly decent sized room. Usual Novotel, good quality, high standard, high spec furnishings. So let's have a look what we've got. So we get a the usual long Novotel desk which has got wheels on one end to wheel it round. Flat screen TV and luggage uh, holder just there and down there near the way in is the fridge and tea and coffee making facilities and the safe beneath it with a storage cupboard underneath that. The bed's a good size double probably a king size bed I would say. A nice number of pillows so we won't be needing any extras and there are plug sockets, there's a plug socket on that side of the bed but not that side of the bed but there are other plug sockets around the room Two behind the lamp over there, for example. And one down here. Which means that if you've got things to charge, then you'll be fine. Um, and just a little tip. On the back of the TV, or on the side of the TV, if you can see there, is, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a USB port. So also for charging up your USB things, you can do it through your television. So let's have a look in the bathroom. So we've got these nice uh, opaque doors. So there's a, a full on bath and shower and sink. And this is identical to the bathroom that we had when I stopped at Novotel in Geneva. There are soaps and uh, gels there. And here's the uh, ski slope sink. And then next to that is the shower which is a, a moderate step up down, not massive, but just something that people with mobility issues might want to be aware of. You probably hold on to the side as you get in and out of that. Uh, a semi-textured surface down there, some raised bridges, but I wouldn't call it non-slip. So as with Novotel rooms, the toilet is separate, so we'll go around to that in a second. But just to point out that we have air conditioning also. So moving around to the toilet room, you get uh, the usual Novotel toilet cubicle. Which, I'm not keen on these because there's no sink, and as I've said before, it's not hygienic. So people will use the toilet, and then they will use the door handle on the other side, obviously. And if they're not washing their hands, then that's massive uh, germ transference. It's not nice at all. I cannot understand why Novotel have never thought about this. So really, this toilet should have a small, tiny, tiny, small hand washing sink in the corner, as should all Novotels. Senior management at Accor, if you are watching this, then learn. Right, I think that's just about the last thing I've got to say. Other than there is a wonderful full-length mirror posing in front of before you leave. Right, we're off to Kellam Island to sample fantastic real ales. I'll be back. Laters. Just to point out that I asked for a room on a high floor with a view. I have got a room on a high floor, we're on the fifth floor. 
but this is the view which I think is something to do with student halls or residence or something like that it's not really much of a view though is it never mind Sheffield concept lift.